Hello. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Boy, howdy, do we have a secret for you today. Um, this secret is probably the most profound secret that I have ever revealed on one of my secret revealing streams. If you've never been to a secret reveal stream before, welcome. Um, it is always a mind-blowing experience, but this one in particular might be my greatest secret that I've ever told in the history of my channel. When I discovered the secret, I mean, most of the time whenever I discover a secret, it, it, it's kind of numbed me to the experience of understanding uh, the inner workings of how these entities and beings are. But this one, this one nearly ruptured my mind from the inside out with the profundity of the secret itself. So when I reveal it to you, I'm just telling you that you guys should um, mentally prepare yourself for a complete reversal of your perception of reality. Because that's the only thing that will occur once you identify the truth that lies within... Uh, the secret that we all know and uh, understand. So, just so you know, I warned you. I warned you before the secret was revealed that you had a chance. You had a chance, and if you didn't run away before you knew what the secret was, then that's on you, and that's not on me. Like, I just gotta say that straight up. That's not on me. So... Without further ado, and without additional warnings, because we'll understand that at this point there will be no more warnings for when I reveal the secret, it's out for good, you know? And you can only warn so much. <laughs> How are you doing, everybody? Welcome to the secret stream. Um, thank you so much for joining. I have uh, something else pulled up at the moment before I do... Uh, the actual secret activity that we're going to be doing today. Um, but, you know, before we get into that, I just wanted to clear up this last bit in this power wash simulator level. Because um, it's a, it's a, uh, you know, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's like a Madame Zeroni type um, thing. No, the, the name was different. Madame, Madame Zeroni's from Holes. What was the name of this one? Can't remember. Yes. <laughs> right, the secret. Okay, yes. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, something about this secret is when you think about it, it starts to slip from your mind. It's like trying to hold a fistful of sand. And if you squeeze it tighter, it's just going to slip through your fingers all the faster. And therefore, with this secret, when you try to perceive it, it actually resists being perceived and so the perception that you apply to it uh, is counteracted by its desire to not be perceived um, and I think like I might have revealed too much in in personifying this secret because yes it is it is something to be personified absolutely um, so yeah just stay tuned be prepared and be ready because it's not really even going to be so much that i'm going to reveal the secret it's more that the secret is going to reveal itself to you you know what i mean it's going to reveal itself to you and for those of you i see doubters in here that's actually not real viewers those are um manifestations of the secret's desire not to be known uh, I don't know if you knew that, but now you do know that. But be careful because you'll often forget that you knew the things about the secret that you thought you knew when you were like, oh, I won't be tricked again, and there you go again, forgetting that you were tricked in the first place. Do you think this is the first stream that you approached where I was going to reveal a secret? If you think it's the first one, it's not. This secret, I've tried to reveal it so many times. And yet if you've forgotten it, you might just have to try again. Because I don't know if this one's going to stick. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's all an SCP. Um, I'm almost done with this. One thing that I I got to say about Power Wash Simulator is... I would have thought that I would have been bored by now. 
And yes, I got more power wash pals on the way. I'm gonna I'm gonna do more power wash pals. Don't think I'm not gonna do that. Um, but that's not what this stream is about anyway. It's about the secret. This is this is not the secret. If you think this is the secret, then you you've you've clearly never been to one of my uh, secret reveal streams, or have you? And you've just forgotten that the secret was there in the first place. Uh, no, yes, or maybe. Also, yes. So, what's the secret? That's what I've been trying to tell you guys. I've been trying to explain this to you from the beginning, and you just won't... Uh, look, if you guys are going to be impatient about it, I'm, I'm not going to tell you the secret, because I don't even know if you deserve to know the secret if you're just going to be so demanding about it. You know? Like, what's up with that? That's just disrespectful. You know, if you think about it, that's just... That's just really disrespectful. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't reveal the secret to you. Maybe I won't. Maybe I shan't. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> All right, you got me. All right, there's no secret. Wink. Okay, you tricked me. Or you, you you saw through my ruse. You saw through my tricks. There's no secret. Wink. Yeah, you guys can go now. <laughs> you got me. It's just a big joke. There's no secret to reveal. Feel free to leave. Leave now. Wink. Yeah, yeah, go on. Go on. There's no secret. Don't worry. There's nothing here for you. <laughs> Wink. No, 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 no. Please, please leave. Please, get out of here. Aren't there other, uh... Aren't there other streams for you to watch at this moment? Aren't there people playing, like, Diablo 4 or something that you should see? I bet they got some secrets. Because I don't. Wink. Yeah. I definitely don't have anything to reveal at the end of this, so you better just, like, move on. It's just gonna be nothing but me playing Power Wash Simulator. Maybe, uh, maybe... Maybe revealing a secret? Yeah, right. No, that's not true. Definitely not. So go on, get out of here. Get out of here. You found me out, you sleuth, you. You know what I'm up to. Always. Huh? <laughs> Say secret now. <laughs> Guys. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> there ain't no secret, Wink. Uh, nothing's going to be revealed on this stream. Nothing at all. Like, come on, guys. It doesn't matter how much you explore around in the description. There ain't nothing there for you to see. <laughs> like, come on, guys. What do you think I am? What do you think I am? What do you think I am? Do you think I you think I plan all this? You think I plan this? You think I don't just hit live and then just like, "Oh, I hope Hope I figure out something. I hope I don't just buy time and waste it so that I can have an excuse to play Power Wash Simulator and then uh, people are, are gonna, uh, you know, clue into the, oh, maybe I don't have a secret. You think that's how I operate? You think that's what I do? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. You need it. You need it. Yeah. All right. Well, sorry, pal. Don't know what to tell you. Why is this sign still dirty? Is that actually dirt on the front there? No. Oh, never mind. I got it. Oh, I got. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Podcast. What are you talking about? You talking about the hit podcast, Distractable? You talking about the top ten rated podcast of all time? Uh, video exclusivity on um, Spotify, Distractable. Or are you talking about Go? Go, my favorite sports team. Now with guest episodes. No, that's not what today's about. Look, Look guys. <laughs> Don't tell them our secret. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I absolutely shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. No, maybe they don't deserve it. Bay window cap. Bay window frame. Which one's the bay window? Oh, that's the bay window. Mark's too scared to tell the secret. No, it's not that I'm scared. 
It's not that... Like, come on, guys. I'm... <laughs> I wouldn't be scared to reveal something so personal to you guys. Like, we have a... We have a very special relationship, and, you know, I... I trust you guys. Implicitly. Explicitly. I... I... I just trust you. Because this, this relationship's built on trust. It's, it's foundational to this whatever it is that we have. It's foundational, guys. So, don't doubt that. Don't doubt that for a second. Because uh, there's one thing I do is trust you guys. 100%. 100%. 1,000% actually. Where the frick is the chimney? How's that not clean? Well, I got something else. Hold on, guys. I'll get to the secret in a minute. I'm almost done with this one, so I gotta, I gotta make sure I do it right. There we go. Uh, uh, roof decorations. What? Roof decorations. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, on the outside, probably, yeah. One moment, gang. Two more. Or one more. Oh. Mm. Hold on, guys. Secrets on the way. Just you wait. Just you wait. It's almost here. It's almost time. It's almost time for the secret. <laughs> dingle, dingle. You know, it's, um, it's a bad habit of mine that I start a stream and I actually have intention and things that I want to talk about and then I let myself get hyper-focused on one singular bit and then, and like, that'll take over my entire thought process. There's nothing that would distract me from that one bit and I just cannot bring myself to ever get away from that single bit. Because to me, like, the bit is everything and therefore... <laughs> Nothing can get away from the bit. And then I just... I hyper fixate on the bit and then everyone is like, How oh, dare you? How oh, dare you? How could you do this to us? When in reality I did have something that I wanted to talk about, but... Oh, these are the decorations. Oh, okay. Alright, roof. I don't know. There are a lot of. Oh, there we go. Never mind. What is a roof fascia? Please archive this. I will archive this. I absolutely will. I'm so close. You know that that threw me off. I was on. I was uh, browsing through uh, TikTok um, the other day, and often I run into uh, TikToks that feature my voice in one way or another. Like I didn't, and sometimes I don't even recognize that they're my voice. Like, um, which one was it? Uh, the the one this was a while ago, but the one I was like, what if I didn't run? What if I'm not a coward? What if I want them to kill me? What if I want them to try? Like I didn't know that that was my voice when I first came across that TikTok, and that's happened more than once. But there was another time where I came across a TikTok that was like, um, it was some automatic dough mixing machine, and uh, <laughs> like it was it was just like the the thing was that you were supposed to slap it with a spoon in there and I was like I thought about it for a second and I you know in my head I'm like Haha, you close you close and I open up the comments and the very first comment on there was you close you close and I'm like oh my god oh my god god I can't get a moment's peace on this stupid platform I can't get a moment's peace on this stupid internet oh I got one of the faces roof underside okay Roof underside. Roof. Oh, it's the curtain thing. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I see it. Oh, that's obvious. It must be this. Ah, uh, I see it. Oh, that's how did I miss that? That's egregious. And roof underside. Hello? Roof underside. Oh, there we go. Okay. Underside. Underside. Under 
other side. Underside. As soon as I get done with this, I'll tell you the secret. I'm gonna tell you straight up what that secret is. Don't you worry. Anyway, I had another point about that, but I I, I forgot it. <laughs> God, I'm just the best YouTuber ever. There it was. Okay. Is this the wishy washers? Okay, so the reason I wanted to do this was because there was apparently some big thing. I cleaned that, by the way. I cleaned that, I cleaned that, I cleaned that. I've been cleaning up a storm, but all on my own. Like, absolutely on my own. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. You looking at that? Look at that! Look closer! Look at that! You seeing that? Look at that! Look at that! Oh, <sighs> that's nice. Hang on, I gotta try something real quick. Hold on, one second. Yeah, that's a boar spear in the background. That's not the secret. Don't worry about that. I want to try something. Because, um, you guys know how I'm a professional YouTuber, right? And I actually am good at my job and I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Well, in all honesty, I don't often know what I'm doing. Um, because for the first time in forever, I've actually found out that you can, and other YouTubers have been doing this for a very long time now, that you can integrate a shop on, uh, the 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 channel so if you haven't noticed i've actually got the product shelf working which is a feature that was brought about like three years ago there's a secret i'm get, i'm getting to it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna reveal it right at the beginning because then you're all gonna leave anyway so uh if you guys know about cloak um this month uh 10 of the proceeds from the free flow collection go to the trevor project which is something we do every year many times a year actually um so if you want to check that out let me see if this actually works if i do this and i go uh did this work did it work what happened did anyone notice anything changed did anything happen at all? I don't know if anything happened. Yes, it worked! <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, da -da -da -da. This isn't feet. I'm- I swear to God, I'm not- <laughs> I, I don't know why, but this particular one is uh, listed in the featured in this video. I swear to God, I'm not listing the... Th I'm not wearing the thing that just popped. I swear. I don't know why it says that. There's many things about this that I haven't figured out just yet. <laughs> uh, but uh, trust me when I say, like, I'm, I'm not wearing that one. I bet it's very comfortable. I haven't tried that one in particular, but... Oh, uh, man. Alright. But anyway, so that's working. Oh, God! My internet! Uh... Oh, I'm back? Am I... Uh, am I back? <sighs> I don't know what's happening. Oh, I think I know what's happening. Oh, I know exactly what's happening. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> Hold on. No, 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 no. Here we go. Okay, get out of that. Yes, yes, yes. Let's quit that. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Is that better? Ah, that's much better. Good. Right. All right. Good. It should be clearing up now. Okay, so that's working. Um, so that's one thing that I wanted to talk about, which is good. I know what I'm doing. So that's there, and I am a professional YouTuber, and also big, big movie maker. Did you guys know about that? Have you heard of that one? Yeah, that's happening. Okay, so that's good there. All right, that's what I wanted to try. That's not the secret, I promise you. That's not the secret. I'm holding you hostage. 
Is that what you think that these streams are? That somehow I am forcing you to be here? That I'm withholding some deep dark secret that's going to change your perception of reality and you think that you are being held here against your will because you need to know this secret and you absolutely must know it and somehow I know exactly how to keep you on the hook for longer and longer and it might be related to Five Nights at Freddy's and that really, that really, you, I bet you just went, mm -hmm. Like, oh, wherever you are, standing in your kitchen watching this on your laptop, you just went, mm -hmm. oh, I bet you did, I bet you did. But it's not because I'm holding you hostage or anything, but it's funny that you mention hostage taking, wink, wink. But that's not me holding you here hostage. It's not what it is. Anyway, so, um, what, <laughs> what is that? Ah, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to clean that. I don't know if it's a good idea to clean that. I don't I don't know if it's a good idea to clean this thing. What is where am I? Fascinating. Well, this is different. Is this thing gonna come to look I hate this. I don't like looking at this thing. I don't like looking at <laughs> he said no. Oh, okay. Anyway, so you're not held hostage here. Definitely not. What in the... What in the hell is this supposed to be? You know, I don't know what's going on in this place. There's... Uh, has MatPat ever done lore on this? I think he said he did. But honestly, who knows? I have no idea. Yeah. Stop predicting my facial expressions. No, there's no... No way I couldn't. I could not do that. I could never not do that. Um, I feel like if I just start blasting this thing, it's going to end very poorly for me. What is this zone? This is a very different experience than I was expecting. Bird. Can I climb up there? No. Okay, I'm holding you hostage. I don't think I am. Yeah. Whatever, guys. He, he's, he's silly. Whoa. Oh, that's a different color than I thought it'd be. Thanks for heading out all this way out of town. It's great to catch up. Can you believe the quality of this statue? This thing is likely over 8,000 years old. Well, that seems... old. Should I really be blasting this with high-pressure water? Is that what I should be doing? It's also directly facing Mount Rushless, almost like it's keeping... What the hell? <laughs> huh, interesting. You know, you're right, almost like it's keeping watch. And maybe if I clean it, it's gonna ruin all of its protective ability. Almost like that. Almost! Please tell secret. I don't- Ah, oh, man, at this point... I think I've built it up so much that it's just not going to have the same punch. Maybe I should just wait until next week to tell it. Because I feel like it's just like, now you guys are all thinking it's going to be a huge thing. And trust me, it is a huge thing, but I don't think you're going to like be able to appreciate just how huge of a thing it is if I say it at this point. You know what I mean? I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think it is? What do you guys think it could be? What do, you guys, what do you guys think it could be? Huh? What do you guys think it could be? Hmm? I don't know. I don't know if I should, guys. I just don't know if I should. Alright, I'm going to quit the bit. There is no secret. I've come out and said it now. Even though I know no one's going to believe that. I, I promise you guys, there's no secret. It was all a ruse. There were other things that I wanted to discuss while I was... Here, it's it was all a ruse just to keep your attention there, and the bit got out of control, wink, and I just couldn't let it go. So there is no secret, no secret will be said, and there's no reason for you guys to be here at all. Face reveal. <laughs> it was all a joke, it was all a ruse, wink, it was all nothing, don't worry about it, there's no secret, it's... It's all just a lie. It's a lie. It's a strategy to try to keep people... <laughs> just, 
uh, strung along longer and longer so that, you know, I, I can exploit YouTube's retention time and then... You know, people are like, wow, the YouTube's like, whoa, man, people really must love this stream. And yet they, if any YouTube staffer were to come into the stream, they would see the wailing and gnashing of teeth and the anger of everything that's going on there. It's all a ruse. Just like the rest of my channel. It's all one big lie. It's all one big lie, guys. Ah, man, I don't know how to say this. It's all a joke. I'm not even really me. I don't know. God, I can't stop the bit, guys. You guys, uh, seriously, I, I'm trying so hard to stop the bit, and I just can't stop. It. <laughs> you ever get stuck in a loop? There's no escape from it ever, forever, through the history of ever. That's where I am right now. There's no escape. I am God. <laughs> huh? Isn't it? I don't think that what I'm doing would qualify as edging you, and I don't like the insinuation, so I'm not going to give that any credence. Mm -hmm. It hurts physically. <laughs> what does? What physically hurts? You think it hurts you? It hurts me. My brain is broken trying to come up with bullshit ways to keep you, the secret dangled in front of your face. But what if it's real? But what if it's real? What if this is just a 5D chess move? Because before I was denying it and I was winking, but now I'm not winking. But also, this could just be a ruse. Like, it could be true that there's no secret. Or maybe this is the ultimate test. And if you just hang on a little bit longer, then maybe, just maybe, the secret would be revealed to you and those who were too weak to stick around. They left, and they would never know. Maybe that's it. The secret's given you a tummy ache. See, the secret actually is uh, was within us all along. Uh, the secret was the enemies we made along the way. I don't know if you knew that, but it's true. It's a... Well, if I jump on this, it's going to curse me forever. Right? Anyway. Um, I think it's time for the secret. Okay. Now that we've cleared out some of the 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 chaff here, we're, um, it's time for the secret. Okay. <laughs> No, you don't know what's happening. You have no idea. You 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 haven't got a clue. You don't know what's going on. You don't know how it's happening. You don't know what's the deal. You don't know what's true anymore. You don't know what's true. You don't know it's real. You're dialing up your friends like, there really was a secret. He's about to show it. And you don't know if I'm actually going to show a secret or just some bullshit thing that you've seen a thousand times. You have no idea. <laughs> Uh, anyway, here comes the secret. I wish I had done that differently. That would have been nice. Uh, yeah. That should work. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The secret is getting unruly. Uh, is this working? Oh, oops. 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 Oh, okay. Oops. 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 I almost did something terrible. I almost did something horrifyingly bad. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. <laughs> I got a phone call. Did I miss it? <laughs> Man, you guys are just... Man, you guys... <laughs> I really riled you up. You see, I, I the, uh, we made a discovery, Amy and I, that uh, Chica really, really likes videos of ducks. Um, and it's almost a problem, right? It's almost, it riles her up almost too much. 
Uh, so we have to do it very sparingly because it's it's a very particular video of ducks. Not one, but it's it needs to have like a high frame rate. It needs to have ducks that are both quacking very loudly and flying. And you guys are right now Chica because it is just... This is just astonishing. See, this is where I'm like, what have I what have I done? And I know that I just dig myself into a hole. Because at this point, even if there is or is not a secret, it would never it would never live up to the expectations of what's in your mind. Oh man. I wonder if I could even talk about that. I'm so curious. Oh man, I really <laughs> Oh, jeez. Ay, ay, ay. No, no, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. No, no, no. No, not at all. No, no, no. Okay, all right. I'm coming clean. I'm coming clean. There is no secret. Oh, where's uh, the OnlyFans set three? So, what I'm going to do... But the OnlyFans thing is because I've been busy with the edit for Iron Lung that I have not had a lot of spare time, which is why I just kind of wanted to do a live stream right here and just talk in general about things and not reveal a secret. Um, but, uh, what was I talking about? Right, the secret. <laughs> hold on, guys, hold on. One second. Very, very important... Um, very important stuff going on right now. Very, very important stuff happening, occurring presently. What? I've literally forgotten. What the hell was I talking about? I have ADHD and no sense or care what the secret is. I'm just here to make people speculate more. <laughs> because there's so many things. Because right now I'm actually digging in to things that would actually be a secret because I'm like, oh god, what could I possibly say that could build up to what I have done? And so, so I, I, no, I can't, I can't, I literally can't even talk, that's not a joke, but it's just like, man, I really, really want to talk about this one thing, but I definitely absolutely would get in a horrific legal trouble if I talked about that. <laughs> you ever just love sitting on something that you know, if you even spoke a word about it, that it would end your existence forever? I'm sure there's plenty of Reddit confessions that are about that, but no. No, the secret's not Iron Lung. How is that a secret? I've, I've literally never stopped talking about that. So it's not that what it is. Why the title then? Because I'm a gremlin! Because sometimes I just want to fuck around! Because sometimes I just like, it's not even clickbait, it's just straight up a lie! The clickbait at least kind of insinuates that there's something here. This doesn't insinuate anything! Because I just can't help myself! Because I can't help myself! But I actually do have many dark, terrible secrets. <laughs> Look, man, I don't know. I have uh, five minutes that I want to just shit out a thumbnail. And so I find a picture of myself and I type in the word secret and then I'm committed into a, the biggest lie. <laughs> I'm just committed into the biggest lie and there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do about it. There's a seagull? Oh, yeah, there's definitely a seagull. Oh, yeah, 100%. Um... Oh, man, I love this. I love this. This. I love this. Oh, wait, I gotta hold on. <laughs> hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. This, this, no, this, 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 
this. Okay, so this is my own I'll be right back. house story. <laughs> the title is and then my skin was rubbed clean off. Oh. Wait, no, oh. I got a better title. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Quote, quote, and then he flipped me over. <laughs> Ew. Ooh, okay. Uh -huh. Intriguing. In Korea, it's a, it's a thing that they have bathhouses. It's a thing in many cultures. And in these bathhouses, you are naked. I've been to them before. You know, I've been to them in Korea. I've been to them here in LA. Uh, but when I went to Korea last time, my cousin said something very interesting to me. He said, you want massage? And I go, I don't mind a massage. I like massage. And he goes, oh, you want massage? And uh, I said, yes. And when we entered into the bathhouse, we walked past these two mats there and there was someone getting scrubbed, like someone getting washed, like physically washed. Like by another person? By another person. Yeah, there was another person. The only non-nude person in this entire bathhouse was the person doing the scrubbing. He had shorts on. Uh, so it was a bit of an oddity, but I passed it by because I was like, I know massages from the Korean bathhouse here in LA. So we go to the bathhouse we so can we relax and we have a good time and then my turn comes to get a massage and my cousin guides me to where the massage is going and he guides me right to the tables that the other guy was getting scrubbed down on and the guy <laughs> has his scrub rag and he flips it over his shoulder a few times and the slaps the bed and he's like hop up is it the same rag <laughs> that he was scrubbing the other person with uh now that i think about it, i do not think he <laughs> I think he, I, I don't think he changed the wash. He just <laughs> rang it out, dipped it in the bucket. It's fine. He smacked the table. What do you think the smacking is for? Yeah, when it, when it, when I got up there, he got a bucket of water and he just splooshed it over the top and, you know, water ran off and clean instantly. No problem there. Wow. So I, I lie face down on this table. I'm, I'm mortified, but I'm like, okay, whatever. It's, I'll get it over with. It's a, it's, it is what it is. And this guy, like... This guy went at me like he hated me. <laughs> everything about me, everything that I stood for was writ upon my skin and he needed to remove it. And I just remember the most incredible pain of just, just the cheese grater of it. And my back was bad enough. You know, and he, he gets every part of my back, top to bottom. Fully naked here too, right? Yeah. Uh, so then he says uh, some words to me that I didn't understand at the time. Now I know he was telling What's me to turn. What's your safe word? But he's telling me to flip over, but I'm not understanding it so he kind of like like digs his hand underneath like my torso and my legs and he flips me over uh and then he, he continues to scrub and i'm like okay i'm face up naked my ghibli bits are all out in the open but you know it is what it is here we go and he, he goes just as hard on my upper my front and then when he gets to my legs he does this what i can only describe as a long smooth motion that ended with him pretending like my balls were not there and he plows from toe to waist <laughs> through smashing my balls out of the way like bumper cars Boom! <laughs> Getting in my inner thigh. I can only tell you this guy was extremely thorough because it took three impacts to get my whole inner thigh on one leg before he switches to the other side. Oh my god. And you'd think he'd start on the outside of the leg to give my balls a break after being smashed to bits. No, he starts on the inside on that side and just wham! Same direction all the way. <laughs> just full connection. I like oh. it's just he didn't give a oh, shit. So it was over over before I knew it and I swear when I got up he had a cigarette somehow I don't know how but he had one <laughs> was it good for you this is not even a joke but I only remembered it afterwards when he was done hello all right I'm back hey did you know that if you want to see and hear more of amazing stories like that, you can check out Distractable through the link in the description below. If you like Bob Wade and I, we have two episodes of Distractable a week that we put up there. It's full of fun, laughter, and us mercilessly making fun of each other. So that's what we do. Anyway, where was I? Right, I remember what I was talking about because I was talking about the OnlyFans thing. So what I'm gonna do is because I was so busy with editing the movie and there's just no time to 
do all that and it's it takes a little more work than you would think it doesn't take that much work but it does take work um so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead right now because it's been way too long for that to wait around so i'm just going to go ahead and get the charity mon the money to the charity i haven't touched any of the money from OnlyFans, but i'm just going to go ahead and call it good and get the money over to the charity because I do not want that just sitting in the OnlyFans bank account doing whatever that is. So I'm just going to have that sent over to the um, to the charities immediately. And that way it's just not waiting anymore. Because the reason it took so long in the first place is because, oh, whoops, I needed to film a movie. And it just happened to happen all then at once. And then there and then. I have kept you here for over an hour. What do you want from me? There is no secret. There's no secret. There are secrets that I could say, but I'm not going to say them because it was all a ruse. It was all a ruse. It was a ruse. It was a ruse. It was a ruse. It was a ruse. You've been rused. <sighs> This isn't what you signed up for? I think this is exactly what you signed up for. I'm pretty sure you knew exactly what was going on when you hit subscribe to this channel whenever the hell that was. Like, it's only been 40 minutes. Yeah, wait a minute. I held you here for an hour. I've only been streaming for 40 minutes. Yeah, wait a minute. You call me a liar, but that person, oh, I've been here for an hour. You have no perception of time. You got bamboozled into another time stream so that you took longer than what I was actually streaming for. This is like the people that say, like, oh, I've been watching, I've been subscribed to you for like 15 years. It's like, I've only been doing it for 11. So how dare you lie to all of us? At least I'm being honest. At least I'm being honest. <sighs> anyway, like I said prior, whatever I said before is true, 100%. You knew what you were getting into, but I am going to get the OnlyFans money over to the charities because I do not want that stuff there. What's wrong with my shirt? What's wrong with your eyes? Nothing is wrong with my shirt. It's not a paddle! Why does everyone think it's a paddle? It's not a paddle. It's a very sharp boar spear. I'm going to move it eventually. I meant to move it a while ago, and it's just like, I don't know why it's still there, but it is. And so, hush. It's fine. It is fine. Everything is fine. It's all 100% fine, and you don't need to worry about anything. It's not a paddle. I could show you. I could show you that it's not a paddle, but I won't. Because in order to do that, I would have to take off the scabbard, and that would reveal the sharp edge, and it's very dangerous. And you shouldn't play with weapons at all, ever. You should treat them with respect. And I know a thing or two about respect. i tell you that. It's a word. Anyway, I don't respect you enough to tell you the secret. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> anyway, so, um, uh, hi. How are you guys doing? It's good to see you again. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Thanks so much for being here. Um, I, I've been able to get back into re semi-regular videos, which is good. Um, but let me tell you, have I ranted yet about storage? Have I ranted about Thunderbolt yet? If you've listened to Distractable, you might know my rants on Thunderbolt. But have I ranted to you about how stupid USB is? Have I? Because, my God, I, I don't even... No, yes, I don't even know where to begin. I, it's so terrible. Everything. Everything about all of it is awful. Everything. Every single thing about USB is a nightmare. It's a landscape of horrifyingness. And trying to manage files is just ungodly. It is against God. <laughs> because I'm going to tell you, this this might, uh, this might isn't a spoiler or anything. USB-C 3.2 times 4. No, it's worse than that. 
If you think that's all it is, you're so, oh, you sweet, sweet, sweet summer child. No, let me go over this with you. Let me see if this is going to work. Is this going to work? If I just paste this here, would it, would it work? Oh, nope, 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 nope. Huh. All right. Uh, buh. Okay. Copy. Nope. Okay, I gotta save it. Okay, hold on. I know my way around. Ooh, I'm good at computing. What the frick? Oh, no, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, everybody. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm good at computing. This maybe it's maybe it's not USB that's a problem. Maybe it's me. No, it's USB is the problem. Cause look at this. Okay? Alright. So I we're gonna go through this a little bit at a time. Okay? Alright, hold on. Hold on. I should do this on the other thing, but I'm doing it here. We're doing it here. Okay? Everybody get ready. So back in yonder day, we had USB back in yonder day we had usb 1.0 right so i it's slow this is way back when i don't know when this was but it was a long time ago then you had full speed usb 1.0 still garbage then you had usb 2.0 and so this is what high speed yada yada it's, it's fine, right? Still, USB 2.0, there was just the one of them. And that's good. That's right, okay? That's fair. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. That's fine. No complaints. Then came USB 3.0, and we're like, great! 3.0? It's like 10 times faster! Holy shit! This is gonna be amazing! But this is where things started to go wrong. So you had USB 3.0, and then USB... 3.1 Gen 1 came out, which was the same thing as USB 3.0, but they decided to change the name for some reason because USB Actual 3.1 came out, which was double the speed, but they decided to retroactively call it something else because they came up with USB 3.2 at which point USB 3.0 became USB 3.2 Gen 1 X1 which retroactively made USB 3.1 USB 3.2 Gen 2 X1 remember it's Gen 1 X1 Gen 2 X1 then through USB 3.2 could be USB 3.2 Gen 1 X2 clearly different but then they were like, wait a minute, we can double the speed and make USB 3.2 twice as fast using the encoding protocol that we had for USB 3.1. But it's just a matter of lanes that we had there. So with USB 3.2 to Gen 2 X2, which was 20 gigabits because it had conformed to the previous naming standards. So then USB 3.4 USB 4 came out. Oh. Anyway, so that should have cleared out all the people that are too weak to know the secret. Okay, so thankfully, good God, I'm glad I can stop that stupid rant where it's acting like I am actually care about that shit. Okay, so all the people that were too weak to get through all of that should be gone right now. It's secret time. So what I'm about to tell you is, uh, man, they had to send an email about this to everybody uh, just to say like, <laughs> I can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing it. I can't keep doing it. Technically, I do have a secret, but I it's also something that I, I shouldn't post or talk about at all. Man, I could I could read you some of this email though. I really could. I could, I could read, and you would have, you would, man, even just like this, I'm not joking, me telling you this one sentence would send you on wild conjectures, wild conjectures, like, you would run with this, <laughs> you would run with this so far. What if I, oh God, what if I leave?
What if I leaked it? What if I did? What if I did? What if? Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just read you one sentence from this email. I'll just read you one. I'll just, I'll just read you one. How? What? Let me read my NDA. <laughs> Maybe I should do that first. Yeah, let me see this. Let me see this. Let me see this thing. <laughs> let me see this thing. Hmm. What is this? Hmm. What is this? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wait. Where's the copy of it? Hold on. Hold on. No, there it is. Okay. All right. Okay. No, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. No, 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 no. There it is. Okay, here we go. Okay. Got this. Let me read this. Okay. You, the undersigned, in connection with your discussions with <laughs> information may be Understand, acknowledge the company owns all rights. Now, is there any more? You agree that any time upon request of the company, you shall promptly deliver, which may be in your possession, and you shall not retain any copies, extracts, or other reproductions. Mm. All right. Okay. Okay. All such proprietary information is confidential. That the dissemination of any proprietary information will cause the company irreparable harm, not readily measurable in money. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Well, that sounds pretty bad. Okay, all right. Uh, I don't know, I don't understand. Mm. All right, I think that's, that. okay, that particular secret I can't talk anything about. I'm so, oh, God, I'm struggling, guys. I'm struggling to find a secret that could even be worth discussing because it's just like, I, I, uh, this oh uh, man <sighs> goodness gracious i just i i oh uh, god i just i'm in i'm gonna be in trouble no matter what i do i'm gonna be in trouble no matter what i do so how about this instead how about this instead okay all right how about this instead one second all right Okay, this is gonna this'll do. I'll be right back. <laughs> Much I want to tell this story, I wanna hear it even more shame. now. Um when I was in high school, I was dating a girl. Uh, we were together for four years. Was what's, what's her name? What's her name? I'm I'm gonna keep that one to myself for now. <laughs> Shblamambla. <laughs> yeah, Shblamambla. That was her name. <laughs> Somewhere in the middle of our relationship, uh, like a year, two years in, three, I don't know, somewhere in there, we had made out, fooled around a bit, and we hadn't had sex. Uh -huh. But I remember a couple days later, she's like, "Hey, um, I need you to get something for me." And I was like, "Okay, yeah, sure. What is it?" And she's like, "I need you to get a pregnancy test." And I was like, excuse me? Oh, oh, She's like, oh. uh, my period's late. It's never late. I just, please. And so I, I'm i freaking out because I'm like, we haven't uh -huh. even. Ha, the, <laughs> does it work? Ha, can that, is it possible? <laughs> I don't even know how old. I didn't have a car, I don't think, at this point. Because I remember, I remember I had to ride my bike to Kmart. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I had to ride my bike to Kmart. Uh -huh. And I like pull up. I park it on the sidewalk and I go in and I have no idea what I'm doing, dude. I'm just uh -huh. freaking out. Yeah. And I walk up and I mean, when I was younger, I I, I don't know if I still had the afro at this point, but I looked like an asshole. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I'm walking around looking for employees and I find someone I'm like, where are your um, pregnancy test? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, excuse me? I was like, yeah, I my mom needs a pregnancy test. <laughs> I said it and I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, no. And they're like, uh, okay, uh, oh. not believing me at all. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, yeah, my mom needs a pregnancy test. <laughs> so they leave me over there. Here you go. And there's like, I don't know how many options there were at the time, uh -huh. but there were options. And I was just like, uh, which one? <laughs> and they're like, well, I don't, what, I don't, 
Uh, they, like they look at me like I don't fucking know what kind of pregnancy test <laughs> well, you how, need. How pregnant might she be? <laughs> so I'm like looking, looking. How pregnant is your mother? A bunch of guys just like I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I had to wait in line for all the other high school dudes waiting to buy their pregnancy test. Their bikes were also parked out front. For their moms, yeah. <laughs> it's an Ohio thing. No, they come up there like, I got to get that guy's mom a pregnancy <laughs> test. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me three. <laughs> so I buy one. I mean, I had, I'm not going to talk about the route I had to go on, but it was like a decent bike. I'm just on my bike riding home with a bag, a Kmart bag with a pregnancy test and it, just like sweating bullets from stress the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about the fact like, what if that guy knows my mom? <laughs> and I remember I was like, just please don't run anybody. Please don't run anybody. And of course, my mom's like in the driveway as I get there. It's like, oh, what'd you do? What were you doing at Kmart? I was like, I oh, was just grabbing a, a treat. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why my mental image, but you have training wheels on your bike. <laughs> like a little hat with that spinny <laughs> propeller on the top of it. I got a little horn, I squeeze and <laughs> Mom, Mom! What are all these kids doing lined up outside your house? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom, but you know, they all had to buy you a pregnancy test. <laughs> Spoiler alert after my ex uh, used it. Turns out she wasn't pregnant and all's good. Period started like the next day. <laughs> Can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to start by thanking my mom for uh, existing so I could buy that pregnancy test under a very good... Uh, good. Look at, the, look at the suggested video. Good God. I don't, I don't think that should be the suggested video. <laughs> I thought that I set that to be another one of these animations. Um, turns out, um, I guess I didn't. <laughs> that's that's not a similar. Uh, this, this sign really doesn't inform what's going on here. That's that's not right. <laughs> I don't like that. I'll fix that later. Um, hello, welcome. All right, so I've got a solution to our problem here. I have a solution, right? Okay, hear me out. Now, you really got to hear me out on this one, okay? Oh, side note, if you want to check out more Distractable, we have video episodes on Spotify now. What does that mean? It means if you want to see us in person doing it, you can. It is two episodes a week. Go check it out, please. No, oh, please. I'm begging you. Anyway. Uh, so here's the here's here's the deal. Okay, so I know there's a lot of people out there that were like, "My God, I want to know the secret," and I'm held hostage here. Okay, all right. So hear me out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. <laughs> all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are the days? I don't know. Monday's one of them. I don't know what the other one is. Um. So <laughs> here's what we're gonna do. The secret, right? The secret. A lot of people have left because they think that there wasn't a secret. But now you guys are left over here. I don't know why, but you guys realize that there's not a secret. So what we're going to do is you guys are all going to pretend like I told you the greatest secret you've ever heard in your life. Okay? And then... You can laud it over all the other people that did not stick over to the end and you can act like you heard the greatest secret that was ever told, but you are sworn to a secrecy unlike any other. Under pain of torture and death, you can never tell another soul what the secret is, but between you and me, we know that there's no secret. But that's the secret, right? So now, Everyone who wasn't here in this moment will realize that there's a secret because you are going to suggest that there is a secret. And then when they go to this video to look at this moment, then they will know the secret. And the secret is that there is no secret. Right? So now we've created a secret out of nothingness, and from this moment on, we will have we will act like the secret is in the past. So now, until the end of the stream, the secret has been told, and anyone joining the stream in that moment is like, "What's the secret?" And you all go, "You can't, you can't know. It, it's unknowable, right? Okay." So that's it. So from here on out, the secret has been told. You all know the secret, and you cannot tell another soul the secret, okay? We're all good. 
Okay. Good. Very good. You guys want another uh, animation? I actually, I love, I love those things. I love those things. Oh, how about I wait? No, here. How about a go one? How about a go one? Just because I like them. Because they're great. They're good. So the basis understanding of American football, there are two teams. You have 11 players on either side. There are three phases of football. Uh -huh. You have your offense, you have your defense, and you have special teams. But there's two teams. There's two teams. Each have three phases. Three phases. It's So during competition, one team fields offense, one team fields defense. And then defense. there's a third team waiting behind the stands, ready to ambush the other no, team. No, 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 no. The special ops. Like special ops? Special teams? Special teams do, you could equate that to special ops. They murder them. So your offense comes out on the field. You have five offensive linemen. Five. A quarterback. Hi. A running back. Running back. A tight end. Tight end. And then you'll have three receivers. Three receivers. That's 11. You're good at math. Thank you. They mm. can run the ball, which the quarterback will receive the ball from the center uh -huh. via a snap between the legs. Okay. Could you just keep snapping it forever? Could you make like a chain of 11 people and they all snap it between their legs all the way back to the quarterback? I mean, you could, but you probably would lose. Or it's a trick. They're or so confused. The defense they don't know would just tackle doing. everyone. <laughs> no, it's 11 in a row. You're going to get through 11 people? No one's strong You enough. have 11 people on defense. Yeah, but there's they're in a row so they hide their numbers <laughs> <laughs> what's stopping the football players from stacking on each other's shoulders to get rules defenders oh someone tried that so yes, they made a rule there's technically a rule in the NFL where you cannot utilize another player to launch yourself. But it would be sick as hell, though. What about two people heave-hoeing someone? That's, though? again, launching. <sighs> but that's using two people. Doesn't matter. It's still launching. <sighs> okay. All right. What? Uh, mm. Generally speaking, you will mm. see that yeah. kind of offense. Snap. They'll snap the ball to the quarterback, and the quarterback can do one of two things. Is he called the quarterback because there are four of them? N no. Oh. There's technically a halfback as well. What is that? What? That's that traditionally now. It's two nowadays, quarterbacks on top back. of each other in a trench coat with like a, a fedora on their head. It's like you morph two together to merge into the halfback, and then you morph two halfbacks to get a fullback, and that's like a shiny Pokemon card. You know, super rare but very valuable. That's why they trade players because it's like trading cards, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Continue. Sorry, continue. So at the snap of the ball, quarterback, get ball. Quarterback, throw ball. Ball, okay. catch. Defense, tackle. Quarterback, get ball. Quarterback, throw ball. Defense, catch ball. Turnover. Turnover? Yes. Quarterback, get ball. Quarterback, throw ball. Ball, hit second down. Quarterback, get ball. Quarterback, pitch ball. Running back, run forward. Quarterback, get ball. Quarterback, handoff ball. Running back, run to end zone. Touch them. So let me just give a recap of yes. everything that I've learned so far. Certainly from the very beginning yes. there's a special team like special ops they sneak up onto the field under the darkness of night or the people don't know because they're camouflaged on the field they have lines painted on ghillie suits that look like the field and then they emerge right and the people don't know when the game starts until they pop up out of the ground and then they go and kick the ball and then the other team who is hiding in a secret formation out on the receiving end they pop up and then they catch the ball and they run it as far as they can and then they switch out there's an offense team and a defense team. We don't know about the defense team yet. All right. Okay. We've talked about the offense. Let's talk about the defense. Defense stop offense going to touchdown. Defense, defense stop, stop offense, offense from, from getting, getting 10, 10 yards, yards in three, three attempts. Defense, defense stop, stop ball. Defense, defense stop, stop offense from, from score, score points. points. Okay. All right, I'm going to give a summary of everything we've learned so far. So after the special teams parachute into the stadium, like under the cover of night, radio silence, underneath radar level, they're dropped in speed drop, helicopter, but a silent helicopter. No, nothing. Just... <laughs> And it comes in and drops, parachutes, they come down, and this is like midnight. Next day, game goes kick, boom, it's on. They pop up from the fields, guns are blazing across the field, bullets flying everywhere. The other team catches the ball, they tackle them, they go down. The offensive is trying to sack that ball. Sa what is it? Don't tell me. They're trying to, s between the legs, wham. They snap, <laughs> they snap the ball. Snap it right now. They crack it. Foom to the quarterback. He throws or chucks back or runs himself. Try to get ball forward. The defensive linemen, they don't take shit from nobody. They've been bullied their whole life. They don't like anybody. No human, animal, nothing. They're full of hate. Nothing but hate. They want to stop that ball. 
they're like psychologically controlled from their birth to hate balls. <laughs> and they're just like, no. And so they do whatever they can, whatever dirty trick, knives, whips, chains, I don't judge, to stop that ball from going forward. And that's football. I'm back. All right. Well done, gang. Well done. Well done. Well done. All right. Okay. Well, uh, I think that it's... Oh, time to watch this statue. So, oh, wait, no. You, you can't see what I'm doing. You can't see anything that I'm doing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I, I did do well. And I'm about to do well on this thing. Oh my god. So, uh, now that the secret's out, um, like I'm just happy to be able to get that off my shoulders. Um, because, get that off my chest? I don't even know what the right expression is. Um, just because that's been weighing on me for a while. And, I mean, it's been weighing on the people that it, that it applies to. Um, which is probably the most oblique way that I could possibly say that. Um, but yeah. So, glad to get that out there. Um, I don't need to repeat myself, and I know that you guys are all gonna... You understand the importance of keeping that to yourself, so... Thank you very much for, you know, really respecting, um, the sanctity of the secret. Yes. You know the secret. Yes, you do, and remember, don't tell anybody about that, okay? That's just between us. It's a very special thing. The trust that we share is, um, all we really have, if you think about it. That's all we ever have. Trust. So. Uh huh. Yep. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Hmm. Interesting. You just got here? Ah, uh, well, sorry. You, um. Well, I mean, you missed out, I think. I don't, I don't think you can. I just don't want to. Uh, it's just too painful to talk about it again, so I won't. Uh, I mean, if people break the rules and try to tell you the secret, I mean, I can't really stop them, but I know that, like, they understand just how much it means to keep that super, super secret. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you, one and all. Yes. Anyway, time to clean this <laughs> I don't know how this happens. I don't know how every single stream I ever have can't be normal. I don't know why it's just a constant flow of nothingness just for the sake of nothingness and not actually something where I'm like, hey, I want to talk about, you know, my life and my thoughts and my feelings. And it's like, nah, nah. Rile them up. <laughs> Rile them up real good. Make them question everything they've ever known about you. Make them question why they ever came to this channel in the first place. Do that. Do that instead. Do that instead of having a nice personal relationship. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. That's just uh, that's my modus operandi. Yeah. Chica was adopted. Well, don't tell Chica that, okay? All right. I listened to Distractable Not Tell the Secret. Thanks. Thanks for that. Listen, I'm not going to tell you the secret unless you get distractible back to the number one spot above Joe Rogan. I won't, I won't ever, ever, ever tell you the secret. No. Okay. All right. Secret's over. Secret time. Oh, God. Secret time's done. There's no more talking about anything. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It is what it is, uh, or it isn't what it isn't. It's, let's just move on, okay? Let's move on. Let's just all agree that that was a fun excursion. It is what it is, and it's all gone now. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's all gone. It's all done. We need not dwell on it. Anyway. There was something else that I actually was going to talk about, but I've completely forgotten at this point. Uh, I don't know. Ah, eh, well, whatever. How are you guys doing? How about that? How about we start over? Let's start over. Let's get back to the basics. Let's just get down to something that we can all appreciate and understand and just, just 
just relax a little bit. Everyone's been so wild up, riled up. Everything has been so chaotic. We just got to talk about there. How am I feeling? I'm feeling good. I really am. I'm feeling great. Um, I'm getting in a nice steady rhythm. I've got all the ranting done with the file management. 90 terabytes of footage is finally being managed properly, which is very nice. Um, and I've learned more than I ever wanted to learn about like network attack store, attached storage, direct attached storage, all that stuff. I've learned everything I could possibly want and more about that. And I never want to know anything about it ever again. Because it's just, it's just not worth it. Yeah. Um, but I'm doing good. I, I'm falling into a good rhythm. This, this uh, shoot, it was a tough one. It really was a tough one. It, it like dwelled on me. A lot. It was a lot of uh, weight. I thought it was going to be easier than it was, um, co especially coming out of like space. And you've heard me talk about that stuff. But this one, this one was a toughie. This one was a real toughie. So it's nice to get back into a rhythm. It's nice to be back home. It's nice to be able to like just not have the the film schedule sprint that I've had before. Um, it's nice to uh, feel like I'm getting back on top of the channel because that that was a big stressor. Is like not being able to post videos for like two months that was awful i i don't know um if you guys understand it but it's just like that was legitimately painful for me not to be able to post content not even like oh i'm taking a break and i'm posting content it's like to not to not have a choice and be like oh i can't because i got so much work that i need to do that that that's no good it's no good at all so it's, it is nice to be back and just be able to just make content again. I, there's something so so peaceful about just making regular old videos. There's something so like rewarding about making bigger projects like what I'm doing with Iron Lung here. Um, but at the same time, it's just like, man, I just freaking love just sitting around and just washing shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just, I, just, I just love that. Shadows overloading. Yeah, shadows. Ah, oh, man, I do got to get back to that. Damn it, I forgot about it. I will finish that one. I love Shadows Over Loathing. I love those types of games. They are a fun excursion. They're a bit slower paced, but God, they're funny. I play so many, like, scary games. I sometimes forget that I, I just like uh, an enjoyable, like, funny experience. Like, just a game that's just there for fun. And, you know, it's kind of hard to get that when everything's so dramatic all the time. But, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of just, like... The whole point of me making stuff in the first place is just so it can be fun, you know? That's that's just what it's got to be for a lot of people. It's just got to be fun. Because if it's not fun, then why are you doing it? You know, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, why are you doing it? And, and with this, you know, it's the weirdest thing, me playing Power Wash Simulator and saying that statement. Because for the longest time, I did not enjoy this. I was like, this is arduous, this is painful, and yet here I am still, like, years later. Maybe a year later, I don't know how long this has been out. Still playing it just for fun. Just because it's actually, like, satisfying to do. And I don't know how to explain that. I don't know how to rectify that. Yeah, th there's that. FNAF, bro, you gotta say something about that. I don't know how to explain this to you. Uh, that, uh, number one, I can't. And number one, I, I won't. Um, because it's like, what what would be the joy in that? What, what would be the goodness in that? I mean, sure, you all could uh, run away and tell everybody, and then you could be the one that knows. But what's what's the point of that? Look, I don't even spoil my own projects. Like, it's it's not something that I would ever talk about. So, it is what it is. Yes, live action power wash simulator. When uh, you got to go back in time to Unis Honest to get that, I think. That's probably where it all started, right? Oh, did you know that you could turn the red nozzle? Did you know the red nozzle has an ability to turn it? Because I swear that wasn't always a thing, but apparently it was, it's was it been a thing. So, who knows? Yeah. Ever heard of a game called Shadows of Doubt? No, I have not. I have not. Mm-hmm. When is Iron Lung coming out? Uh, as soon as I'm done editing it, and as soon as the visual effects are done. Much like with all of my projects, it comes out when it's done. 
And it won't come out any sooner, but I am looking very much forward to being able to share that with you. That's going to be... That's going to be cool. Now that I'm actually in the weeds of editing, because I've been wanting to get in the weeds of editing for a while now, but I just haven't been able to because of uh, the file situation. But now that I have gotten into it, it's like, oh, this is a cool one. Oh, this is cool. Oh, it's very cool. It also reminded me that, like, I miss doing the Who Killed Mark Markiplier stuff. Uh, not in terms of, like, doing ego stuff, but also just, like, going out and making random bullshit. Just wherever and however you can. I think that is, like, the key to really falling in love with production. Because, don't get me wrong, I like... Having a set, I like having people that are very good at what they do. I like having a crew you can trust and that you can build a relationship with. Um, but they, I also just love going out and filming shit with your friends. I, I love just like what we did with Who Killed Markiplier was just like we rented an Airbnb and we just did it. Like there were no rules, there were no anything to it. It was just like we did it and that's all there was. There was no other way to do it because we didn't know anything else. Um, but that didn't stop us from doing it because doing it is what we love to do. Um, and I do want to get back into that because, man, it's just it's just like such a wonderful thing to be able to make shit. I'm so lucky to be able to do what I do. And I know that. And I try to remember that. And I try not to exploit it all the time with streams where all I do is talk about this great big secret that you guys can't tell anybody about. Definitely not. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty lucky to be able to do what I do. And uh, I swear that now that I've gotten back into a rhythm of making content, that content will be coming very regularly. Extremely regularly, actually. Because I don't want, uh, because while I'm editing this, and, and I've gotten lost in editing round of it, rabbit holes before, because I, I do like editing, and I like the process of editing, but I sometimes let myself get consumed by things. Yeah, but is there. Can I do the voice of Warfstash? Uh, God, I hope so. I, I don't know, it's sometimes, you fall out of practice of things, and they just go away. But, uh... Will for a warmth that? Oh, no. Uh, unless I had a reason to do it and get it back into it, I wouldn't just do it willy-nilly. That's silly. Don't say such silly things. Am I excited for the Silent Hill 2 remake? I didn't know that they were making a Silent Hill 2 remake. I'm kind of out of the loop of a lot of games. Need a new three scary games? Well, you're in luck, because tomorrow there's going to be the 99th episode of Three Scary Games. And that means that the one after that is going to be the 100th episode of Three Scary Games. So that's, um, I mean, that's kind of going to be a big deal, I think, unless it's not. I don't know. Maybe it won't be. Who knows with these things. But I think it'll be a big deal. Maybe. Mayhaps. Yeah. When can we watch Iron Lung, or was that where? Uh, it's going to be in theaters. I um, just haven't devised which ones just yet, so. Working on it. Every, uh, like, all I'm concerned about right now is getting the movie done in the best way that it can be. And that's, that's all I care about. Because, um, I just need to see it to the finish line before it can even go past the finish line to anywhere else. Yeah. Theaters internationally? Uh, I mean, I don't even know how the hell that works. But I'm sure that there are people that do. And so I'll talk to the people that do know that, and then go from there. I know it's like a demand thing, right? That That's what it all boils down to. Um, so this is kind of the advantage that I have that many people do not when they are making movies, um, is they don't already have an audience that likes the projects they make. Uh, so I am lucky enough to have you guys that you, for some reason or another, like the projects that I make. Um, so there's no question about me going, hey, yeah, I want to put this in theaters, and there's no one else that would ever go like, oh, but are you sure you can sell theaters? And I'm like, I have about 40 million subscribers. Yeah, I think I can fill a theater. And they're like, one? And I'm like, yeah, I think I could fill more than one theater. And it's like... <laughs> So, and I know that probably sounds super egotistical to say to you guys, which is why I never say it and why I have to be like, 
re you're really gonna really gonna make me say this out loud I'm not here to brag but that's just how much they don't understand the world that we exist in and like it's not just me it's like creators online just have all like there are people there and there's like you guys are so supportive of what I do and you're so supportive and, and other people are like have these wonderful audience that are just supportive of what they do and so their creative ventures um, it's not just a, a shot in the dark you know it helps that I've made projects like this before and you guys have watched them and enjoyed them um, and you trust that if I'm gonna make something and I'm gonna I'm gonna put my whole mark pussy into the I hate myself and I I'm I formally apologize for what I just said and I, t I, I, people are leaving the theaters <laughs> as they... I apologize for who I am as a person. Listen, I regret all the things that I have ever done. Look at me. L look, I... Look, come here. Come over here. Come here. Look. Hey. Um, I've been watching too much TikTok. I apologize. I've been watching too much TikTok from like a year ago. I apologize for who I am. I am cringe. Abs I own it and I accept it. And I apologize for nothing. I <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But uh, yeah, no. That's that's literally the conversations that I've had many times. And it's kind of um, to go back and gloss over everything that just occurred. Um, no, that's, that's the thing. So, but as far as internationally, I have no idea. Yeah. But that is the thing. That is the thing. Um, that is the thing is, is these traditional, and I talk about this, I, I say the word like traditional media, whatever. It's, it's just old. It's old, old media. It's the old way of thinking about it. Um, I had a, a, a conversation about you know the movie and it was talking about the uh, the trailer and it was someone who was impressed uh, there was a few people I'm not gonna name names here but it was someone who was like really impressed with like the performance of the trailer on my channel and they were just like wow yeah you got like almost five million people watching this trailer how much did you have to pay for to get that many eyes on it and I went what what no I what? And it was just like, because in the traditional sense, if you wanted to get your movie out there and you'd have to advertise and you'd have to pay your marketing campaign, get a company going and stuff like this. Like, no, I just, no, it's like, who did you, who did you have cut that trailer for you? And I went like, no, I, I'm, I made it. I made the trailer because I like making trailers. I make fake movie trailers for ad campaigns. I just, I like it. And it's just the mentality of that someone could possibly even do that themselves is unheard of, right? It's just not a thing. So it's not even in their wheelhouse. And and that's kind of like the advantage that I have, but also the disadvantage. And I've talked about this many times before where I have to literally like teach people, teach people about how any of this works when I don't even really know how any of this works. You know what I mean? It's just, you guys are still on something else. I, I'm, I'm talking about something and you guys are still just on a completely different wavelength at the moment. You guys are dwelling on something else. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, so, uh, it's just... <laughs> so, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. But also, I don't know how international works, because it's got to be, like, translated or stuff like that. Guys, please. Please. Guys, please. Please, let me live. Just let me live. That's all I ask. Just let me live. Sons of the Forest! Look, okay, this is one of the things that, uh, I, I realize also has fallen aside. Because I know you guys really want, like, Sons of the Forest. Uh, but the problem is, the problem is, um, I'm very lazy. <laughs> I'm extremely lazy. And now that we're doing Distractable two times a week, 
So it's like, Bob Wade and I, you know, we, we play those games, and that's what we've done. We've done that forever. And I could schedule another recording session with them. Uh, we could play that and do that, but I am, I am really lazy. And uh, it would, oh man, playing a, games for a couple hours with the boys sounds like it would be so easy to do. And you're right, it would be, but I'm lazy and I don't do that. And you know how it is when you're lazy and you just don't do something for a while. And today would be a perfect day to do it, because it's like the weekend, and, you know, I could just call up the boys right now, and we'd be like, let's do that thing, and it would be like, ah, sons of the forest! But then, um, I don't do that. Oh, yeah, Resident Evil 4 remake. God, I, uh, I get so behind on these things because I, I, I let it fall to the side, and then it's like, oh, it's so late. And I know I've done all the other remakes, and I've played a lot of the Resident Evil games, but it's also just like... Oh, man, it's just like a long play. I, I can't commit to something like that. It's just, oh, my goodness. So it's like, you can see where I am. Layers of Fear remake? Layers of Fear remake? Wait. What? What, what are you talking... Layers of Fear even... Is it... It's not even that old, is it? Why is it getting a remake? What? What? What are you trying? What? What are you even saying? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. What is this? Hold on. Wait. What is happening? Why is this like this? I don't understand what's going on here. How is there a remake of this when? I just, I don't, I don't understand. I don't, how is that? Hold on, hold on one second. Wait, I gotta, I gotta find this. Okay. Because uh, I didn't even play all of Layers of Fear. I didn't. Um, but at the same time, I feel, okay, cinematic intro here. It wasn't even that long ago. Okay, here we go. Uh, cut. Boom. Okay. I'm good at OBS, guys. What is this? I once had it all. My palate was sated. Nostrils stimulated. Standing venerated. Then one day, you took everything away but shame and pain. I'm still not sure what game you're playing, but I'm back. Taking what's mine. There's a demo. Shit, I missed the demo. God damn it. Content. Con see, but I don't understand. Why is there Why are they remaking it? 
as opposed to making like Layers of Fear 2. That's what I don't get. They made a Layers of Fear 2? What the fuck? What? What? What have I missed? When? What did I miss? How did I miss that? I haven't thought of Layers of Fear in a very long time, so I don't know what that's all about, but... Well, I missed out on it. I missed out on it. I missed something about it. Oh well. Alas, that's what it is. Interesting. Fascinating. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Little Nightmares 2. Look, guys, I'm not a good gamer. I'm not a good YouTuber. I'm- I- I don't even know what you want from me. Help- Help wanted to? What? What is that? What do you mean? What is happening? Help wanted- Actually, that's pretty dope. I- uh, I- I liked Help Wanted. The VR one? That's VR, right? Hold on, I'm pulling it up. I'm pulling it up. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back for another week of career fulfillment and minimal social interaction. We know how challenging it can be to find a place where you feel that you truly belong, and to find a job that treats you mostly with respect and only infrequently with contempt. For that reason, we are excited to inform you that you did an adequate enough job the first time around to have you back. Also, there were no other applicants. So strap yourself in and get motivated to an appropriate degree. Cause you ain't seen nothing yet. All right. Well, that's cool. Well, that's all right. I'm okay with that. So it's it's interesting that they got the same voice actor to do the same lines, but they didn't put the same effect on his voice. So it seemed different. Whereas before, it seemed like a pre-recorded, you know, thing for whatever have you in the the yada yada is that it was. Whereas this one was like um, something seemed off about it. But that's okay. I like I like that they got the same voice actor back again for that. Uh, Wording was a little different than it probably was. Sons of the Forest trailer? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Look, look! Shush. Shush all your faces. I, I'm getting back into the swing of things with getting in, into games and stuff like that. I'm making content. It's, it's all fine. It's not all about the games. Sometimes it's about something other than the games you know sometimes it's about something other i know there's outlast trials i know that i know all these things i i know this ah oh, man I, I i do i do i got it i know what is i don't even know what you're talking about fnaf one trailer <laughs> the five nights of freddy's one trailer the original is that what you want is that is that what you want is that what you want i have no clash of clans <laughs> New three scary games tomorrow. 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 It'll be there tomorrow. FNAF ruins. What does that even mean? What are you talking about? There's security breach DLC. What? That's what you were saying? See, when you just say ruin, I don't know what you're talking about. You're just going to say ruin and accept, expect that I know what you're talking Oh my god. Okay. Uh... Interesting, I think. Well, let's see. I didn't think that they were even going to touch this game again. I didn't think that they were going to have anything to do with this. Cassie, I hope you get this message. I'm trapped. Here at the Pizza Plex, or what's left of it. I don't have time to go into how I got here. But you've got to help me out. Save me, Cassie, please. It's so dark down here.
Don't give up on me yet. I won't, I think. You know, it's fascinating. July! That's right around the corner! Content. Content. Sweet, delicious content. Uh, so, here's the thing. I actually... I had a lot of problems with Security Breach, but I look back on it fondly. That's the thing. And I, 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 I know that probably... I don't even think that Scott was happy with it or whatever. I haven't asked him. I don't know. I think Scott is not happy with me at the moment, but um, it's uh, it's one of those things where like I like that experience. I like what they were going for. I saw a lot of problems and I saw a lot of things, but I could un almost understand them. You know, I, I could almost understand them, um, and it's it's just like I look fondly on it. I enjoyed that experience, so I am I am so down. Uh, to to play that, I, I'm I'm really done because it also came at a really like opportune time for me specifically. Uh, I needed that game uh, just for content to play, but also just like um, to keep the, my YouTube channel like uh, pumping while I was working on something else. And just like it was, it was just like a very fun one to be able to like go into and get frustrated at and go for. So I actually liked it. I liked it a lot. It was it was very nice. I thought it was a good time. FNAF movie trailer. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't actually know what you're talking about. Don't know what you're talking about, pal. Don't know what you're talking about. Never heard of you. Get out of here. I'm calling security. <clears throat> Calling security on you if you show your face around here ever again. Hmm? What are you talking about? I don't know. Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. Just, uh, never say words to me ever again is, is, um... If you ever, if you ever say words to me, I will sue you. Just like I'm gonna be sued. <laughs> For sure. I already looked at the trailer for Help Wanted 2. The question is, am I now a FNAF reaction channel? Am I the king of Five Nights at Freddy's reaction, trailer reactions? Is that what I am? I like, look guys, I, there's, I love a trailer as much as anybody else, but as far as making content about simply reacting to the trailer, I'm, I'm, I'm very not about that. I'll watch a few here and there just because it's fun and it's it's interesting to be like, oh, I didn't know that was a thing, but uh, let's not make it a habit, guys. Let's not, let's not make it a habit. Yeah. Please, something other than horror games. What do you what do you think I'm doing? Unless you unless this is a horror game, unless you're telling me that Power Wash Simulator is a horror game, like I've always suspected it is. There's something going on here. There's something going on with this volcano, and now I'm cleaning a big statue. Something weird is up here, you know what I mean? Something's not right. I'm very not right about it. Resident Evil 8 VR. Uh, Resident Evil Village VR? Like, you could play that in VR. See everything up close and personal in Resident Evil Village, is what you're saying. Well, well, uh, well, I'll have to look into it. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, just, I'm, just not, I'm just not sure about that one. I got a lot of schedule conflicts that I have. Uh, very busy. I'm such a busy man. I'm such a busy, busy man. I don't know if I could fit it in. I don't know if I could squeeze it in. My schedule. So uh, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get back to you on 
that. Get back to you. Yeah. It's about power. Oh, uh, yeah, it's about power. Um, but, you know, it's about other things, too, besides just power. Everything's about power. A lot of things are about power, but... I don't even know why you brought up power. That's very strange of you to say such things. Very strange to say such things. Did you know you could rotate the red nozzle? Might have mentioned that before. Very useful skill when you're washing things. So is it just uh, what uh, Resident Evil VR? Is it uh, like just on PlayStation VR or something, or is it on? Um, is it on like any VR? Can I do it on any? Do I have to stream to my PC for the VR to work right? Or um, is that something else that I got to do for that? PSVR exclusive, huh? Right. And so um, how much is that these days? <clears throat> how much is that these days that these are these days? How much is one of those? Just asking. Anybody got one that they're selling? Anybody? What the frick? Aquatic ape theory? Who is talking to me? Sonia Alamuddin? That sounds like a fake name. Unless I'm being disrespectful. African prehistory living semi-aquatically? Like Atlantis? Are we talking Atlantis here? Fucking Atlantis. Did I see Elden Ring DLC? Yeah, I saw it, but I mean, unless there's a trailer drop and I and nothing to get excited for yet. It's probably going to be a very long time before that comes out. Although I, I, I did watch a video just recently that was talking about um, just Elden Ring and just reminded me of how much I love that game and how wonderful it was when it came out, the time that it was. What a game. What a freaking game. What a freaking game. Anyway, I don't know about this aquatic human theory, but that's what that is. Uh, da -da. Uh, will I continue Callisto Protocol? Uh, probably not. It's been so long. Maybe in a stream, but... There's been so many games that I've started and not finished. I, I, I think that might be one that's doomed for the pile. So I don't know if you guys... Maybe just mourn that one. I apologize. Subnautica 3. Oh, that's right. I haven't even played Subnautica Cold. The cold one. What is it called? I for Arctic Arctic Zone. Oh man, I should play that one. That's just that's a fun one. I gotta get back into it, because it's one I can do by myself. That I believe the frozen one is now complete, so it's got a full finished experience. Not just going through the betas again. That would be fun. I would like that. And notice how I'm picking a game and I'm like, ooh, that would be fun for me to do. That's what's important. Got to get the fun first. You can't just put everything before the fun. Then you're just not doing anything you want to do. No, no, it's got to be fun. Oh, man. How did I miss so many spots? Yeah. Below zero. That was it. Below zero. Thank you. Below zero. Yes. Yeah, so that would be fun. I wouldn't mind that. Dredge. Uh, I watched Amy play Dredge a bit. It seemed fun, but I, I didn't really see enough that would make me make episodes about it. Yeah. Doom DLC. I know that came out so long ago, and I'm probably due to play it, but I, I things just got in the way of it, and I wasn't able to actually get it done. So, unfortunately. Yeah, there's a lot of games I know. Oh, you know what I feel bad about? <laughs> I feel really... <laughs> I feel really bad about this. I in that video where I was like need some help when I was filming the movie and then um, I asked for like the person who made the video game suggestion list to resurrect it and bring it back. And then I said like I swear I'm not gonna do the thing where I ask you to put in all this work and then not play a single game on your list. And then I did that exact same thing again. Where I didn't play a single damn game on that. I am so sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> for nothing. I, I am sorry for nothing. 
It's, uh, it was a risk. You knew the risk. Uh, it's just... Sometimes that's the way that it works. So I apologize. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, enough game talk. Enough game talk. What else is going on in people's lives? What are people worried about right now? It's almost summer here in L.A. Apparently, if the rain would stop... It blew Wade's mind when we when Bob and I were talking about the fact that it was raining in California, and he was like, it "Rains in California? There's, there's no way. That's impossible. It never rains." And it's like, "It does. There's, there's weather out here, and it's been freakish weather these days." Yeah, but the content. What are we talking about? You guys are still talking about other things. I've moved on. I've moved on. You missed the secret. The secret's long gone. See, the secret is so long gone. Like, that's that's such an old conversation at this point. I gotta really get in the nooks here. Well, clean that. Yeah. Stray. No, that's game. No! Help, it's so glitchy. I think that's just on you. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. I think you just might be glitchy, but I'm not 100% sure. Cloak brand? Do you not know Cloak at this point? Is this an excuse for me to talk about Cloak? Oh, hey, how's it going there? Somebody doesn't know about Cloak brand. Well, let me tell you. The clothing company for you. It's my clothing company for you specifically. Why don't you just uh, check out some of the amazing offerings that we have? Uh, actually, uh, do because 10% uh, of the sales for the Free Flow collection go towards the Trevor Project. So if you don't know what that is, you can read up more about it on the website or go to Trevor Project and check out their mission there. But it's a worthwhile cause and. Um, all the stuff that we have in our collection. And I, I swear that we do not just support, like, we do not just support on June. We do it many times throughout uh, the year. So go check that out there. Um, what else was I talking about before I got distracted by that? Yeah. But there was something else. I forgot. Oh, I talked about the OnlyFans thing. I'm not going to do a third drop right now. I'm just going to get the... Because I was waiting while I was uh, filming the movie, I just didn't have time. Um, but what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get the money over to the charities. So that way it's not waiting on that. Because um, I don't want to, I don't want to hold it. Well, I'm not even holding on to it. I don't want OnlyFans to hold on to that for a second longer before the money gets over to the charities. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, probably first thing on Monday. Um, and get that over. And then, in the future, if I ever need to promote something heavily, I will save the extra OnlyFans stuff for that moment. So they, they're, I, I gotta keep, uh, I gotta keep the people somewhat thirsty so that I can have something to, to, uh, leverage for the future of my content dreams. Maybe something for the Iron Lung movie I can tie into that, you thirsty bastards. And then you won't have anything to complain about, right? No, nothing. Nothing. But it is very important that I get the money to the charity as soon as possible, so I'm going to do that. Oh, you can't see? How long have you not been able to see? What? How long have you not been able to see? How dare you not be looking at the game? This is on you. Like, I can't believe that you guys let it go that long. <laughs> I feel like that's gaslighting, and I, I don't want to be a part of that one. I don't want to be privy to that. Not that the entirety of this stream wasn't gaslighting, but it is what it is. Anyway, I started talking about Cloak. Why would I go full screen on my face just to talk about Cloak? That doesn't seem in any way productive in any way. Why would I do that? I, th I want you to stop lying to me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's actually not cool. So I'm not going to do that. Not, but I am going to rant about a secret for like a very long time. For like a really long time. Yeah. 
for like a very long time. I don't know where you're at, but if it's anywhere near Muckingham, then you need to get out right now. What? 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 Mount Rushless could blow any minute, and I'm... I'm just praying I've got time to scoop up Ma and Pa. What? Is that what? Am I responsible for this for cleaning the statue that's looking at Mount uh, Mount uh, Explody Goo? Can I put this up here? It's in my view of the mountain. I'm very strong, by the way. Don't know if you knew that. Very strong. Uh, boy. I'm... Well, shit. All right. Uh, I guess we're in trouble. Maybe. Or maybe we're far enough away. I don't know. Something like that. Yum. Yum. Gotta get under the tits here. It's your birthday in five days? Oh, congratulations. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday for all of you. Anybody whose birthday it is, happy birthday. You know, I did a video on Trombone Champ, and <laughs> that's going to be a real shit post of a video, because basically all I do for the entirety of the video is shit on the game, because its whole gimmick is that, oh, people are going to be bad at it, but... I literally do everything on the computer with my mouse. And I know a lot of people are like, well, of course, I do that too. No, you don't understand. I do art with my mouse on the computer. I've done all of my thumbnails with my mouse on my computer. And many of you know this. But what this translates to, and also I do Power Wash Simulator with my mouse. because, And I do extremely precise control stuff. So what that means was I was actually good at Trombone Champ. Therefore, there was no moment of, ha ha, I'm so bad at this. So I just was like, the whole video is me just shitting on the game. <laughs> and I like to Lixie and I'm like, oh dear god, please, I hope you can make this funny. And he's like, I'm trying, man, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sucker for love voice. Right, okay, I'll get out of there. All right, I'll remember that. That's not that big a deal. So, uh, anyway, so, yeah, no, I, one of the reasons that I'm getting better at it is actually because I'm playing a lot of this game right here, which helps me with precise mouse control. Because when you have precise mouse control, you can really get in the grooves. You can clean out the gaps. Clean out all that stuff. The statue wasn't such a big honker. And this would be a lot easier. Because, like, back in the day, when I was first playing this, I would have just run around with the white nozzle and just been like, mm -hmm. no, wait, where's my, where is it? What? The frick? This nozzle. Weird. I don't know. And then just trying to, like, blast it out like that. And that's not how you do anything. Nope. It just takes precise control. Favorite B-Day present? I don't know. I haven't gotten it yet. Play music? You play music. Why do I need music? You could play music on your own. It wouldn't change your experience. You could actually control the volume that way. I'm giving all of you an opportunity to play your own music. That's how kind and thoughtful I am. What's up? Not much. How are you? Good to see you. Do I still play trumpet? Absolutely not. Oh, damn. Hey, Mark. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. How are you? Worst two hours of your life or best two? Almost two hours of your life. I... Being here? Being here? Oh, Power Wash VR is happening. That's, that's pretty nice. I need to use the bathroom. Can I pause the game? Absolutely not. There's no pausing this. But if I need to use the bathroom, then 100%, yeah, I'll pause it. Because at any minute, this volcano is going to blow, and we're going to see some lore happening, apparently. Which will be fascinating. Quick. 
quite a dirty under tit. I am so Ohio. I don't know what that means. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Cuphead DLC. Look, guys. Do you guys think that I actually care about games? That's the crazy thing, is you guys think that I'm some kind of a gamer. And I'm not. That's the thing. People think I am, but I'm not. I'm an imposter. I don't even really care about games. I care about some games, but I don't even really care about games anymore. I'm nowhere near where I once was. I am a false gamer. I am not the gamer you think I am. I don't play games. I've never played games. I don't even like games. I don't like anything about games. I've never played a game in my life. Ugh. Anyway. Ultra Kill, great game. Love that game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go on. Look, I'm just I'm trying to concentrate here. I'm gonna finish this up. Yeah, actually, I got something to entertain you. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm a, I have a terrible idea right now. I have a terrible idea. <laughs> I don't even know if I can do it right. Hold on, I got a terrible idea. Here, what am I do? What am I do? <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Look, guys, you 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 guys are just you're too much right now. <laughs> That's the, this is the worst idea ever. Um, you guys are just too much. I have had enough out of you and your sass. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm out of here. If you can't handle me at my best, you don't deserve me at my worst. Hold on here. Why is that one not working? Come here, you. There it is. If you don't deserve me at my best, I don't deserve you at your worst. And you don't deserve nothing. How do I do? That? I don't know how to do. That. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. We got this. Then you don't deserve me at my bestest. You don't. Oh, frick. You don't deserve me at my best. You don't deserve me at my best. Oh, frick. You. I've had it up to I've had enough of you and your worst. So you're not going to get my best. You oh, you don't get the best of me cuz I'm not going to give the best to you. So why don't you There we go. Okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is this going to work? Oh, it works. Okay, cool. All right. You don't give me my best saying uh so i don't get you at your worst so you're gonna go to this 2007 freshman and year. i'm gonna keep playing in the background so i come in from winter break i, I open the door and you know bob's there and i'm just like <sighs> let's loft the beds <laughs> Like, I don't think I said hello first. I think I like walked in the door and was like, you want to loft, the, you want to put the beds in on, on top, bunk them? You want to bunk the beds? Well, we'd have so much more room for activities that way. I know, God, that movie hadn't even come out. I know, <laughs> that's exactly what we were doing. We wanted room for activities. Like we need more space for when people come over yeah. when we have all these parties. Obviously, <laughs> we're cool guys. You guys throw a lot of parties after this? Yeah, oh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God, we definitely threw at least so one. <laughs> we, threw, we did throw one. <laughs> God. <laughs> Great. I can't All wait right. to hear how worth it this was. So Mark enters. And so our current setup, we basically split the room in half, right? But it's not that big of a room. Like if we were standing shoulder to shoulder, we'd probably take up the whole width of the center of that room. Yeah. So if you bunk one bed on top of the other, you get like a corner of the room. But 
the way the beds are supposed to go together when you bunk them, you're supposed to one lower the height of the bed that goes on top because when they're on the floor, the bed is like all the way up on the highest setting it can go, right? So you can put stuff under it. Okay. But if you leave it like that and then put it on top of another bed, there's like maybe a foot between the bed <laughs> and the yeah, ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really, like legitimately. So you're supposed to change that, but that required like tools or I don't know, knowledge. We didn't know how to do that. So we didn't do that. Of course not. So we're looking at this and we're like, yeah, I don't think we need, uh, we can't adjust your bed. I think, and Mark is like, that's fine. That's fine. I'll sleep up high. Good air up high. It'll be fine. <laughs> Good air. Like we get past that hurdle. The other thing about this is other than the fact that you're supposed to one, ask for permission and two, ask for help from adults. There's supposed to be a thick metal pin in each of the four legs that lock it in place. So yeah. the, they can't slip off. That seems crucially important, <laughs> sure right? Does. And then we're looking and we're like, all right, metal pins, metal pins. We don't have metal pins. And I don't know. I think it was you, Mark. I got yeah, to give credit me. where it's due. <laughs> we're sitting there like brainstorming and Mark like goes into his wardrobe and turns back to me with a pair of scissors <laughs> and a plastic clothes hanger. <laughs> And is like, if we just snip this straight part of this clothes hanger, it's like metal pins. It was the perfect size. It fit perfectly. It was the right diameter. It has, I'm pretty sure plastic clothes hangers you can snap no. with your bare hands have the same tensile and sheer strength as metal pins. So like, yeah, he looks at me and of course he holds up the scissors and then the thing. And I look at him and I'm like, perfect. <laughs> How big do you think they need to be? Let's do this. No hesitation at all. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh. And my favorite part of this whole thing, we eyeball them to the same-ish length, set them all in. We hoist the bed up really precariously, uh -huh. set it on the pins. One of the four pins was like half an inch longer than the other ones. <laughs> and it was half an inch too long. Yep. So the bed, the weight of that corner of Mark's bunked bed, which is now like 10 feet off the ground, the weight of that bed is sitting on the plastic clothes hanger. And we sort of like, I don't remember the conversation, but we looked at it for maybe a second, like 10 seconds total. And then Mark was just like, ah, fuck it. Of course. Yeah. And just climbed up. And so for the entire rest of that school year, yeah. Mark's bunk bed, one quarter of the legs was supported by like a, a quarter inch thick piece of plastic. You should be fucking dead. <laughs> All right. Did you enjoy it? Was that good? Good, good, good. That calmed you down. That calmed you right down. That calmed you right down. I'm glad about that. All right. Now I know you're not going to do that again, all right? Because you learned your lesson, right? And you apologized, and that I accept your apology, and we'll just move on from this. Oh, da -da, almost done with this. So this thing's about to blow, um, and I don't know what's going to happen when it does, but I think it's going to make um, everything dirty again. That's my theory, is this uh, volcano's going to blow, it's going to like reset all of the cleaning things and wipe everyone's memory at the same time and then I'll be like man I guess I got to clean everything again that's my that's my guess I'm probably right god damn this thing's still dirty I guess I haven't cleaned it from the front yet you don't see it oh god you don't see anything man I am a good <laughs> Oh, man, that's... I am a good whatever I do. I'm good at it. I swear I said yes. I swear. How is it not on that screen? It's the same thing. It's the same... Oh, no. I thought I was changing it. I thought I was changing it. I, I really thought I was. I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I thought I was. Anyway, I accept your apology is what I'm trying to say. Do you see me? You see it now. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Absolutely. Oh, it's very quiet. You need the sounds. There we go. Almost done. I'm at 94% on this thing, so it actually is pretty close to done. Just got to give it a little more scrub in some spots. And then I think it's going to go kaboom. 
I'm pretty sure everything's gonna go kaboom. Which would be stunning because I don't know how I'm gonna survive. This guy was going to get his maw and his paw, and I'm pretty sure they're doomed. Goddamn under tit. The pressure washer is too loud. See, that's the thing. Uh, you're wrong. Uh, so about that, you're very wrong. There's no way that it's uh, that you're correct. And just be patient, everybody. That's what this game teaches you. You got to be patient. You are on the WC. You got writer's block? Any advice? Um... I don't know. I... I've been inundated with writer's block before. Um... My only advice, and it's not the most helpful advice, is, uh... Write stupid. And I know that sounds like a joke, but I'm not joking. Um... If you're working out a certain plot point and you're like, man, I can't connect this story or I can't connect these ideas or these themes or whatever, yada, yada, whatever fancy bullshit you want to say, just write stupid. I'm not, I am literally not joking. Write as if you're an idiot and write poorly, write terribly. Just take some time and just write what you think and what you would believe would be really bad stuff and then just keep writing that as if you were trying to connect to the plot points in your own dumb way and um, in doing so what that does is it's kind of fun to just let loose and write some garbage uh, and that makes the pressure of trying to write perfectly go away um, and so when you're writing dumb you might make yourself laugh, you might explore a different idea, you might put on paper something that you dismissed in your mind as a bad idea, and then once it's on paper, you're like, oh, wait a minute, if this was slightly less stupid, this might actually work. It's just a brainstorming tool. Um, so yeah, if you're ever stuck in writing, while we still can write before ChatGPT takes everything away from us, um, just, just write dumb. Like, you know, the, the AI writes dumb, so why not write dumb a bit? It doesn't need to be perfect. And then getting it out of your head is a more important thing, in my opinion. And then, then you'll let other people tell you that your writing's dumb. But if you write the dumb first, you know that it's not dumb, and then nothing they say can bother you. Right? That's how it works, I think. Yep. What's this? I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just washing. I just... Felt like washing. You ever just feel like washing? Sometimes you just gotta wash, and this game has taught me a lot of patience. You know, I always say, like, in terms of ADHD therapies, that meditation is a, is a big part of it. In a way, this game alone has helped my patience incredibly. And... It's so strange to say that a game would do this, but in the same way that, like, TikTok can rot your brain from the inside out and is the absolute worst thing that you could do if you have ADHD. I just today deleted it. I had to. Um, I do think that there are certain games and lessons and practices that you can do that will help you in the long run, and that's absolutely true, because otherwise the individual, like, therapies and, and things that you can do for ADHD wouldn't work at all. And this is one of those games that does, um, especially if you do it in a way that is controlled, focused, patient, and not embracing chaos, which I do sometimes. Embracing chaos can be fun, even in this game. Um, but the methodical nature of it kind of lends itself towards this patience and sitting down and doing something that is not immediately rewarding and will help you in the long run, right? I do sometimes play music, but you guys can play music on your own. I don't feel like playing music because it's hard for me to talk. I might get in a trance where I'm just in my own head, right? 
So when I when I play this game, and the reason that I like it so much is because it does kind of teach me to just sit down and be patient and think actually what I'm doing. In addition to like other things, obviously, like I can't say that this is entirely what I do because I do take medication. You know, I take a medication called the Stars, which I think is better than the old medication that was I was on for various reasons that I don't need to get into right now. Um, but in addition to that, it is important to take your steps and actually apply the kind of mental exercises that you need to improve yourself. And even if you don't have ADHD, I think this game and playing it in this way can, um, can be a benefit to anybody that's trying to learn patience. Because patience is something that not a lot of people have. And especially when you, when I get questions like, what's writer's block and stuff like that, it's, it's just like, or what can I do for writing's block? Like, a lot of it comes down to a lack of patience, because sometimes patience is what you need. Things do take time, and they're going to take time, and they're always going to take time. And if you don't let it take the time that it needs, then you're not going to get the results that you need. You know what I mean? I think, anyway. Do I have a good view of the volcano? Good. Okay. So sometimes you just gotta have patience, and this game teaches me patience, which I like. There's a face slab there that is not clean, and I don't know where it is. I'm not seeing none of these are saying that it's not fixed. Where is it? I'm impatient. Yes. What's the secret? I don't know. What what the fuck? What would happen if I didn't take my FNAFL medication? What? <laughs> my FNAFL med what's a FNAFL? My Five Nights at Freddy's pills? Oh god, I wouldn't know what happen would happen if I didn't take my FNAF pills. Jesus, can you imagine? Oh, wait, there it was. Right there. Aha! Got it. Okay, so that was the last face slab. Yeah. My FNAF pills. My FNAF pills. <laughs> Look, man. At least you're not calling them the ass pills anymore. <laughs> no idea. Yeah. I've been FNAF pilled. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah. I'm assuming that what you mean is what would happen if I didn't take my ADHD medication. It's not like I would blow up or anything. All of it, but it's also like important to know, and I say this all the time, it's not magic. It's not going to instantly make everything suddenly... Uh, perfect. It's all like, um, it's all in, blah, it's all steps, right? I'm just getting this out of the way so my view is not obstructed. Can I put this down there? Um, no, but it, it, it helps, right? That's, that's all it is. It's all part of the process. And I, I like, I, I need not get into the details of like, um, ADHD. I, I talk about it a bit, uh, but I don't need to get super into the weeds of it. FNAF pills are suppositories. Probably! I, w I, w I wouldn't doubt that. Um, whoa, oh god. Oh, 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 shit. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Well, either that's calming the... Oh, I think it calmed the volcano. Well, um... I did it. That's not a bad clean. It's not a bad clean that I did right there next stunt plane boring uh what was i talking about i, I have no idea. 
How do I deal with ADHD paralysis? Is that like sleep paralysis? I'm, I'm not 100% sure what you're referring to there. Um, but is that like the indecision factor? Which is uh, something that I, I deal with. Um, no kablooey? No, sadly no kablooey there. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a challenge, right? That it's tough. There's no one answer to everything and I'm not perfect at it. So I can't even say that I beat it all the time. The, the hard answer is that like, it's always a problem. Even, even on the, like, even with everything working in your favor, you're doing everything you can to try to work with it. You know, sometimes you have bad days and that's it. Um, sometimes you're stuck. The, the best thing is just like, and I know it's bad advice because it doesn't help is just like yeah no just just you gotta still do things and it sucks and sometimes it's bad and sometimes it's awful but that's just the way it is sometimes uh i i i really have no other advice besides that um besides all the things i always talk about but again don't need to go into too much detail about things i talk about it a lot I don't know, maybe I talk about it a lot. It seems like I talk about it a lot. I'm happy if I can help someone. But I am also not an authority. I only have my experiences. And they are probably different. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the games. Oh, the games again. Talking about meds, maybe I should take mine. Um, the, yeah, I, I feel like that's... That should be a given. I, if if you have a prescription for something that is important outside of ADHD or whatever, I, I encourage you to take it. Um, as prescribed. Hello, nice to meet you for the very first time ever. Well, this is suspicious. Why? This, this seems like a relatively easy clean. I'm going to go haphazard on this one just because I feel like it. So this is what I would do if I was doing chaos mode. Because it just seems like a very simple clean. Which I don't mind. I don't know what the hell happened to this plane to get it this state. I don't know if this blood. Could be. Damn, this is an easy one. I understand you'll be working at my private airport. I will be relying on you to show the utmost discretion. We have some of the most important and secretive people in the world coming in and out of here. So whatever you see that is not to be discussed with any other human, is that clear? What? It's been two hours. Thank you. Yes. Sometimes streams last several hours. That they do. But are you waiting for the secret? The secret was already told. It was told at the one hour mark. Like somewhere in there. Oh, it looks like this is a job for soap. Ooh. Only yesterday we had a private jet pl fly in. Uh-huh, go on. It was a crazy good secret. That it was. It was a pretty nuts secret. It was pretty fantastic. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty great. Who knows what was in the briefcases they were carrying. I'll tell you nothing... Tell you for nothing that it wasn't stationary. Now if you went around telling that to any Tom, Dick, or Barry, we'd all be in it. What are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? I'm just power washing. I just clean things, man. I don't do anything else besides just clean things. I don't do any secret government nonsense. I just power wash. Fear and hunger. What are you? What are people talking about? Fear and hunger. I don't even know what that. Is that a game name or is that just like people are talking about my fear and my hunger? I'm power washing to survive. Yeah, apparently. Apparently, I saved the whole city. Found something else amazing in the desert. Another historic moment. I- what do you mean? Why do you need to power wash it? Wouldn't that damage it? I feel like that would just damage it. 
Every day brings new reasons to keep your mouth shut. That is the most threatening statement ever anyone has ever said to me. What are you talking about? Oh, a celeb couple flying out tonight? God, you don't need to start off a conversation with every day is a new reason to keep your mouth shut. Jeez. That's what I say to you guys if you ever spill the beans about my secret. Every single day that you breathe is another reason I keep your mouth shut. So don't tempt me. Okay? You're going to keep that secret with you to your grave. Don't tell a soul. I don't care what they do to you. I don't care what they give you. Don't. If you do, you know the punishment. You'd recognize them right away. They're from that new hit film, Bill Shakespeare, about the poetic duck. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I don't know anything about anything, man. I just want to live. I just want to live my life. You're telling the authorities? I don't know what you're talking about. But I do know that if you don't keep your mouth shut, you're going to need more than authority to help you out of that trouble. Do not? No, no, no. What is this name called? I want to play this Power Wash Simulator. You don't know Power Wash Simulator? You don't know about the hit podcast Power Wash Pals? Do you know about Power Wash Pals? Do you watch Power Wash Pals? Not Power Puff Girls. Power Wash Pals. The Power Wash Podcast? The Power Wash Power Hour? I have all those names. They're all trademarked. No one else can copy them. They're mine and mine alone. Huh? The PP? The PP, yes. You guys know about the PP? Good. 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 Mark, what's your opinion? What's my opinion about what? What's my opinion about what? About what? Better not be that thing you're supposed to keep your mouth shut about. That's for sure. PP forever. Fear and hunger. Is that... You want to know my opinion about fear? Just like in general? Like I guess if you think about it from an evolutionary standpoint, fear is a very useful survival uh, thing. Because if you're fearful, you're attentive. And paranoia is only paranoia if you're wrong. And so... It's, it's, it's just like something that I know it's can be inconvenient, especially in today's society, but from the standpoint of survival and survival alone, an extremely useful tactic makes people very, you know, expending energy because attentiveness requires energy and, you know, to have energy, sometimes being afraid, you know, is useful because it allocates your energy. But if it's not allocating your energy properly, you know, that's going to lead to issues of hunger, you know. They tie in hand in hand. Is that what you want to know about? Is that what you wanted to know about? Get Iron Lung to Canada. We'll buy many tickets. I'll try. That one's probably easier because you, you mostly speak English up there. I know there's many people that speak French, but even they probably dabble in English on occasion. So that's easier an international sell than um, foreign countries that need translations, I think anyway. Again. I don't know too much about it, so I'm going to rely on the experts to guide me through. But otherwise, I don't know anything. I know nothing at all. And those stains are really going to need some, like, soap. I very rarely use soap in this, but sometimes the oily ones really need some soap. I'll give this a once-over with soap once I'm done. Please play Omori. I don't even know what that is. Miss the strange cave billionaire? Power wash the oil? In Sweden? Uh, I'll do my best again. Fear and hunger game? I don't think that's a game. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Have I ever baked bread? Maybe. I can't speak definitively on that answer because I don't remember large portions of my life. Um, so it's possible. Uh, but I don't know. Um, Egypt? I, it's, it's a country? Is that, I hope that answers your question. Thoughts on Zelda? Um... Uh, she blonde, I think. Hair, thoughts, uh, none, none thoughts about. Do I have five onions? No. Do I have five ovens? No. Uh, hope that answers your question. Thank you. Thoughts on clock. I have no idea what that was even referring to. Uh, but many thoughts pertaining to time. Uh, my thoughts were lost to time, actually, when Unis Honest perished. Uh, rip in peace, Memento Mori. Um, thoughts on FNAF. Uh, Scott Cawthon is angry at me and with me and all around me. Uh, thought over. Um, probably. I'm gonna say probably. Probably. Don't know for certain. Don't know for certain. Um, behind me, okay. Uh, why is he angry at me? I don't know. Well, I don't know. I said probably. I don't know for certain. I'm just guessing. Actually, I know exactly why. Who? Man, that stuff is just in there. Hold on one second. I gotta get the soap out. I never have to get the soap out. Hence why I have so much of it. But I do on this one. Good God. Soap is, like, misleading because soap can seem like it's going to be very useful, but it, it actually is not very consistent in its spraying. Um, it just leads to a lot of problems um, where you'll think something's clean, but you'll see that actually, oh, wait, no, it's not clean at all. I missed a giant spot over there, and it's really annoying because you got to hunt it down later. So I never start with soap. I, I think starting with soap is a mistake. Um, I think using soap is largely unnecessary. Um, but sometimes, sometimes it is. Because you gotta, you gotta ship like this. It seems like it's clean, but it's not. There we go. I'm 99% there. And it's still not there. What's going on here? Okay, let me just use the uh Thoughts on thinking. I don't know. Thoughts on Tiny Bunny. Oh yeah, that was that game. The like visual novel like adventure game thing that I just said correctly. Look at that thing. Yeah. Oh. Thoughts on thinking. Uh, thinking's cool. Thinking's pretty dope. Like thinking. Like thinking about stuff. I also like not thinking. Not thinking sometimes is really cool. Um, this game definitely helps with not thinking. So sometimes that's very useful. At least something up here. There it is. Okay. Inner wing strut. This one actually is annoying. I'm I'm very disappointed in this one. It's it's more annoying than I thought it would be.
horizontal stabilizer. What is Brad Murphy? Elevators? Elevator. Elevator. Elevator? Oh, elevator. Exhaust? Is there an exhaust on here? What? Oh. All right, one second, gang. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm so close to done. I was gonna put you in timeout again, but I'm not gonna do that. That would just be mean. Horizontal stabilizers. I thought I did that. Horizontal stabilizer. Oh, how are you not clean? Oh, See, this is a problem with going haphazard. You don't know what you've done because you never finish anything. And that's the bigger problem, is if you never finish anything, you don't know what you're doing. How is a propeller blade? There we go. Rudder. Rudder hinge. Okay, rudder hinge. Rudder itself. Go and rear wheel support. Done. That one took a while. All right. Okay. Thoughts on mental health. Very important. Resident Evil 4 remake. Thoughts on Lixian. What a sweetheart. Uh, thoughts on Genshin Impact. I tried playing it once. It didn't work. Um... Thoughts on Lady Dimitrescu. Very powerful. Thoughts on Little Nightmares 2. No idea what that is. Uh, thoughts on children's education in Zimbabwe. Vital, I'm sure. Um, thoughts on dogs. Love dogs. Uh, Chica loves duck videos. Thoughts on friendship. Very important. Thoughts on Portugal. That's Lixian's country. I think he owns it. I'm not 100% sure. Um... Thoughts on Cuphead, old game. Thoughts on cheese, love cheese. Thoughts on cats, thoughts on Stockholm? Stockholm, like the place? I have no idea. Thoughts on, this will change your mind. Oh, boo. Boo. Uh, look at these slippers. Look at those. Uh, thoughts on other YouTubers? Uh, they sure do tube those use. Um, thoughts on musics? Uh, thoughts on Minecraft? I never did finish Minecraft. I meant to. Um, thoughts on... Well, I can't read that. Thoughts on New Amnesia Game? Oh yeah, there's one coming out. I never finished the old one. Because I never got a chance to. Because it broke on me. That's a finger. You guys want to see a finger? It's a finger. I don't know where it's pointing at, but it sure is pointing. Hey, wait, there's one too many fingers. All right. What is that about? What is that about? Well, that's not right. Anyway. So, uh, thoughts on carrots, thoughts on myself and my ego. I think that I'm pretty cool, but I'm not so unbelievably egotistical that I think that I'm better than everybody else. I think that much like everybody else, I have things that I can work on and improve on myself, and that's one of the big driving motivators in my life, is that I always like to push myself to do new things and try new things and always move forward in my life. Um... I was str I streamed for a lot longer than I thought I would. I was uh, I was originally just intending to stream for a real quick time, um, pop off a few promotional oblig obligations like I do. Um, but this was fun. I had a good time. I had a good time on this. Um, and we we definitely uh, got deep into the secret. The secret has been told, and you won't tell a soul. And then uh, everything else will fall into place after that. 
Um, in conclusion, all the things that we discussed remain just between us. You never tell anybody. Um, and then everything will just be nice and fall into place. Um, and that's all that we need to know about that. Good. Any last uh, things before I leave? Uh, there are last things before I leave. Uh, be sure to go to cloakbrand.com. I've got a new product shelf down there. You can actually see the things down there. Um, but all of the free flow uh, drop, 10% of the sales go towards the Trevor Project. So definitely check that out if you want to help support a cause or make a donation directly to the Trevor Project. Please feel free to do so. Um, also, Distractible, go my favorite sports team. Go check those out. We're now exclusive with video and pod on Spotify. We have audio everywhere, but video can only be found right on Spotify. If you want to check that out, go check it out. Um, why is there a spear in my room? There we go. It's a spear. You got it right. Thank you very much. Thoughts on Iron Lung? Very excited for it. Lots of cool stuff coming. Can't wait to bring it to you. And just... um. Have a lovely time. Have a lovely day. Uh, move forward with everything that you're doing with conviction. Uh, proud of you. Proud of everything you've done. Proud of everything you've done so far. So have a good day. Have a lovely evening. And I will see you tomorrow. Because tomorrow we got another video coming. And more cool stuff happening. Thank you. How often do I stream? Not often. And not for long. This is probably one of the longer ones. But thank you. I am leaving. What's that stick in the background? Well, we could have ended on a good note, but I guess we're not going to do that. So I'll take care of... Goodbye.